大丈夫だ誰にも知られることはない Do not blame the machine. Sunny's second episode opens with a look into Moss's company, Emitech. The personnel are drilled, and robots patrol the columns to ensure everyone's safety. However, one of the employees gets a call and rushes out of the room. There has been a security breach at level 5. We then cut back to meet Susie and Masa from the past. The latter gives Susie some advice while she is selecting food from a vending machine, but as she approaches the counter, he arrives and sits next to her. He knows she chose the extra hot cuisine and seizes the opportunity to ask her for a drink afterwards. Further flashbacks throughout the episode reveal more about Susie's past. She traveled to Japan for the food and culture, as well as to write an essay about hikikomori, which is essentially a complete withdrawal from society and seeks social isolation. It seemed ideal for her in paper, and as luck would have it, Masa has been doing this for three years now. He doesn't feel she understands what loneliness is. Therefore, he guards his notebook fiercely, claiming that these are only sketches for fun. Back in the present, Susie is nervous as she observes Sunny, who is staring at her through the glass. When she returns inside, Susie confronts Sunny, demanding to know what Masa was up to. Apparently, she has no answers and despairs when Susie is irritated by her response. Her first memory is of meeting her. Thus, she doesn't know if Masa had malicious intentions. Susie introduces Sunny to an engineer. Who explains that the robot is incredibly advanced. The files are locked, and she has been continually updated by someone. She wants to hack into Sunny to discover the truth, and she knows there is a guide for doing so. The engineer becomes nervous and instructs them to go, but she obtains a guide from his assistant who chases after them. Apparently, this is the dark manual. Nobody knows who created this, but they're geniuses who use a special symbol as a mark. This seems to bring back memories for Susie of Masa. We still don't know where Masa is, so Susie visits Masa's mother to get more information about the symbol. She's holding a party inside, which appears to be Hamako's idea, but the image on the wall with the sigil has been taken down. Masa's mother keeps her cards close to her chest, and putting the photo away raises red flags. She's certainly hiding something. Sunny and Susie play off one another at home, with the robot learning from Susie and giving as much as she can. Susie continues to search through his study. Hoping to find the journal and connect the dots. When she slumps against the desk, she extols Masa's virtues, particularly his role as a caring father. Sunny suggests they go to Masa's office because he wouldn't hide anything at home. Susie and Sunny show up at Amitex the following day. However, there appears to be some sort of barrier preventing the robot from progressing further, as it continues to say, Division 5 denied. She convinces Yuki to grant her entry to Division 5, but when she arrives, All of the rooms appear to be blacked out. This then leads to the show's opening scene, in which the employee hurries down to Division 5. Susie enters the yellow room and discovers that the floor has been washed to remove the blood. She hurries out and hides underneath one of the desks. Sunny comes to her rescue, however, and appears on the observatory deck, playing fitness routines for the workers who are wearing VR headsets so she may slip away. Susie accomplishes just that, and ultimately the two return home. When the airline arrives with Masa's sneakers, Susie gets some terrible news. It appears that he has died, but without a body, this seems doubtful. Anyway, the bot returns to its master who's been spying on Susie all along. It couldn't decipher Sonny's code, but it knew he was an airline employee. That night, Susie invited Sonny to join her in bed, copying Masa and holding her. As the episode concludes, we witness Masa covering up the murder, and Sonny appears to be involved. The robot awakens from what looks to be a dream with a confused recollection. Thank you for watching.